We present a technique to arbitrarily arrange items while respecting a distance measure. We show arranging images on a 2D grid by color, arranging U.S. congressmen on the Liberty Bell by voting record, arranging snare drum samples by timbre for a virtual instrument, and arranging 3D models on a sphere by category. A common task is organizing images. When using Google Image Search to find images of the outdoors, the results are presented, or sorted by relevance, or perhaps by date. After finding one appropriate image, other nearby images may have little similarity because a 1D sort order fit to a 2D grid does not preserve neighborhoods. Our arrangement of this set of photographs of flowers by mean color puts similar images near one another, enabling understanding of the data set. Clusters of green, yellow, and red towards the top gradually transition to clusters of gray, blue, and purple towards the bottom. Our proposed algorithm is as follows. The input is a set of images and the target arrangement to which the images must be assigned. Some distance function, or set of non-metric pairwise distances, is used to assign weights to every edge of a complete graph on the input images representing the pairwise similarity. Dimensionality reduction, such as isomap, is used to embed this graph onto the continuous 2D plane while preserving distances. We coarsely align the target arrangement to the bounding box of the isomap output while ignoring outliers. We produce a bipartite graph between the images and the target locations where each edge is weighted by the Euclidean distance between the image and the location from the course alignment. The minimum bijection of this graph can be found via linear programming and represents the optimal assignment of images to locations, minimizing the aggregate displacement. This assignment determines our output arrangement. Our most straightforward application is arranging 2D grids of images. This randomly arranged set of flower images is difficult to understand. We lay out the images under mean RGB color difference, thereby creating clusters of similar images within the grid. Our algorithm works on any data type, including audio. Snare drum samples are colored according to their timbre and arranged randomly on this grid. We arrange the samples by timbre or similarity to achieve this virtual instrument with clusters that sound acoustic, electronic, brassy, and wooden. We can arrange data onto arbitrary grids in higher dimensions as well. The flower images are arranged by color onto the surface of a sphere, creating clusters of similar colors around the equator and near the north and south pole. When visualized from inside the sphere, this creates an exploration interface which is infinitely scrollable in both the horizontal and vertical axes. The sphere layout creates two infinite cyclic degrees of freedom with smooth, continuous variation along both of those axes. We also show arranging 3D models onto a sphere. Here, models from the Princeton shape benchmark are used. The similarity measure uses path lengths in the taxonomy used to categorize the models. Models are colored by their root category, which makes the clusters in the arrangement more clear. Again, inside the sphere, the visualization is an infinite 2D canvas of models. This type of interface may be particularly nice for navigating even larger databases of models, such as the Google Shape Warehouse. Our algorithm can be extended to support hierarchical visualization. Even when organized by color, it's difficult to understand this set of images at coarse and fine scales. We take 4,096 images from the Sun database and arrange them into 4x4 grids at three levels. We extend our algorithm by performing clustering on the isomap output and place the cluster centroids onto the target arrangement. Lower levels of the cluster are arranged by recursively applying our algorithm. Our paper discusses additional applications, such as assigning seats to family members at a wedding for different seat configurations, arranging photos of animals by similarity according to WordNet, and creating infographics of congresspeople arranged by voting record similarity.